I have been described by so many, as so, as so many things, by so many people. This honest to God, I often wonder to myself, what in the name of God are you at all? I have six to four on the field. Five to four on the field. Five to one ball. Stevie Coughlin, the bookie politician, playing the odds. This was his first meeting to Punchestown for a few years. His profit on the day's racing, £150. In a year, he attends around 35 meetings. They're not always so profitable. You'll find him at the dog track in Limerick three nights a week. This meet cost him money. He played the field and lost. That's the kind of life Coughlin leads. Fluctuating, inconsistent. It's the same with his politics. If there's something ironic about the side of Coughlin, so much in trouble with the party, collecting outside a country church on a wet Sunday for the funds of labour, He's not one to acknowledge it. He's a practical man. And this is a chance to meet his rural constituents, for East Limerick spreads well into the hinterland around the city. This is Stevie's style, meeting people, understanding them. This, for him, is what politics is all about. Not dogma, nor doctrine. Not philosophy, nor policy. People. The plain people of Ireland, as he'd have it. And you walk every Sunday? Oh, God, I'd walk to Clebro Mountains. Go on, go on, go There are so many things being said about me that one day I'm all left, some other day, some other person will come along and he'll write that I'm a fascist. Somebody else will say that I'm not left enough. Somebody else will say, well, he's too far left. And here you are. But where is the fundamental? Is not the fundamental in the ballot box? Is it not the people that count? And let them be the judge. And I want to thank the people of Limerick and say this here, that every time at, since I went into public life, I've got the confidence of the Limerick people. And I know that the workers and the people of Limerick know me for what I am, despite what has been said by outsiders of what I am. Is political expediency more important to you, votes rather than, say, principle? No. You can't live without votes no more than you can live without fresh air in political life or in any life. But would you compromise yourself to get votes? No. But knowing the people as I do, I don't try to tell the people what they should do. I try to give the people the service and to give them what they want, not what I want to give them. And that's the trouble I have faced within my own party. The theme of the Labour Party policy is that the 70s would be socialist. Are you, for instance, as a representative of the Labour Party, are you a socialist? Well, no. There are so many translations to socialism that I don't think... There, there is no Solomon or two or ten Solomons could define what exactly socialism means. But what is your socialism? My socialism is very, very simple that we live an Irish Christian cultured way of life. Security of employment. Security for the old and the aged. I want to see no beggars or paupers in Irish life. And I want to see everybody getting a fair return for what they give in employment. Well, as a Christian socialist, how do you achieve this? Well, that's very simple. You uh, worker and management, they're all workers. Everybody is a worker. Everybody will be a worker until the end of the world, until the end of time. Be he clerical, be he a mental worker, or be he skilled or unskilled or a labour worker. We're all workers. Every day of the week, I work. Every day of the week, you work. Every day of the week, everybody else works. No. We must, we must make a giant effort 
one leaning on the other in business. From the lowest down to the highest up, they are all part and parcel of the machine that will keep the industry going, that will keep life going, that will keep the family going. And let me say this, and this is something that people are forgetting at the present time, that unless we have a firm family basis and everything based on the family, we have no nation. No. A wedding for Stevie Cochran is more than a social occasion, it's a political opportunity. He's asked because he's a Doyle deputy. He goes because of the votes. Stevie's a great man for weddings, up to 30 a year, sometimes two in a day. Yet the man is only weeks from his 60th birthday. Stevie does it because he needs his plain people at the polls. At least half his vote is personal. So he goes to weddings and funerals with all the dedication of an independent. This is what he really is, an independent. But he stays in the Labour Party because he knows there's a sizable Labour vote in East Limerick and he wants a slice of that too. Stevie wants it both ways and he intends to stay in the Labour Party no matter how much division he may cause. This, he says, is what the people of Limerick want. But Stevie nurtures the ambition of heading the poll next time. He was only 80 votes offered in 1969 and he wants to go right to the top just like his rival Donnick O'Malley did in the past. I suppose you're looking forward to Stevie yeah, may do it and he's worked with a dedication local work, a characteristic of Cochrane. He does not speak in the Doyle on matters which basically affect his people, but he works a long day getting them blue cards, houses, speeding their social welfare payments. Well, Reverend Fathers, ladies and gentlemen, and all my friends, and I hope that that applies to everybody here. Uh, I want, first of all, to apologize for being so late. But I had another wedding this morning at uh, Killaloo, and indeed, it is a busy day getting away from weddings. You can't time yourself on the clock on wedding days. But I must say that I am more than happy and glad with this great union this morning of the Hazes and the Dordans. And I now want to ask the bride to let me have the honour of the first dance here this morning. Thank you very much. Stevie's got a full-time clinic off the city centre. He set it up after the increase in his doll pay. Public life has cost him money. Once he had four betting shops and a pub, they're gone now. He was neglecting them. 